Beautiful sunset over the bigger hills. And there's my polytonner. Let's go and have a look. So this is it from the outside. It's a bit dry at the moment, so the ground's pretty dirty. And so this is the polytunnel and I put a door on it. That's one of the modifications I made recently. <clears throat> and this it used to be just zippers, so you just uh, zip the front flap down. But I put a door there, and uh, and this flap rolls down. Now you just roll it down when you want to keep the cold air, air out or the warm air in. And here we are inside. I'm going to do a full review of this and put it on YouTube because... It's all the information I couldn't find when I was looking for a polytunnel. So it's pretty decent for a sub $300 polytunnel. So I made the extra effort. These are uh, big star pickets, like two metre star pickets. One for each side there, and one for each side there, and one in the centre. And there's um, shorter 60 centimetre star pickets edges anchoring the sides down and so I've got some uh, peas growing up the side got lots of spring onions and plenty of leek or leeks and so they're the winter things that are going to be gone soon so the um, broad beans are growing there and there's a cat there and I've got some um, tomatoes that overwintered pretty noisy on the highway at the moment it's um everyone going home <clears throat> so yeah plenty of things growing really well in here because it's out of the wind if it rains it's um it doesn't get flooded if you get a lot of rain so you can regulate the water and uh only thing is when it gets hot in the summer I'll probably put a shade cloth over the top just so it's not as hot in here. So there you go, that's the polytunnel. And these overwintered tomatoes are going to grow some tomatoes for me soon. That's it, that's the tour. Might eat a little strawberry while I'm here. Cheers. Thanks for watching.